Okay, today we're going to be uh, talking about doing an ISS calibration uh, for uh, on wafer measurements of uh, gallium arsenide mimics. And uh, we're going to be using uh, Cascade Microtex uh, WinCal uh, software for that. So we've got the software up here. And first thing to do is to uh, set the uh, Vector Network Analyzer up using the uh, Cascade uh, software. So we've got the start and stop frequencies set at 100 megahertz and 30 gigahertz, 201 points, um, a good lowish uh, IF bandwidth, 100 hertz, so we've got a low noise trace, um, and minus 17 dBm set as the default value, which will be fine because we're measuring an amplifier. So if we send that information to uh, the uh, VNA, uh, close that. Um, it's a manual probe station, so we don't bother about these couple of tabs up here. We want to uh, select the probe types that we're using, which are uh, their infinity, ground signal ground, 200 micron uh, pitch. Uh, so port one is on the, uh, the west. Port 2 on the east, both same type. The ISS standard itself, it's uh, a 101-190C uh, and we've already got the uh, serial number of that uh, set into the system. Uh, so basically that's, uh, that's everything that we need to do there. So we'll OK that and the analyzer <coughs> is now set up. So the next thing to do is the actual calibration. Uh, so bringing up the uh, cal uh, window, we've got a two port LRRM. So it's a bit like an SOLT, but it's uh, optimized or produces more consistent results for uh, on wafer measurements. So it's line, reflect, reflect, match. And we want to, to do an auto cal. Uh, so we'll set that ready to, to go. So the first thing we do before we start the uh, CAL is to actually set up the uh, probes onto the ISS substrate. Um, and that's uh, setting the, uh, the separation of the probes and the overskate and the, or the over travel so that they're uh, uh, consistent for uh, all the measurements. So I'll do that now. So we uh, line up the uh, right-hand probe in this instance with the probe tips uh, just on the relevant markers and then overskate to the bar. And then we'll do the, uh, the same on the right, uh, left-hand probe. Sorry. And that's touching down and then over skate to the bar again. So they're set in the correct position. So the first thing to do, as the uh, calibration software says, is to move the manual station to location separate. So they recommend 200 microns above the uh, substrate. So we've lifted the probes and we OK that and the uh, analyzer makes S11 and S22 open circuit measurements. Right, so the next thing is to move to the through, which is a short line. Just line the uh, standard up with the probes and place them down and just check on the uh, analyzer itself to see that 
the uh, contact has been made and then we OK that and the analyzer again makes its measurements. So that's completed. Now we move from the through standard to the short. place that down and OK that. And then finally we move to the load which is two pairs of trimmed uh, 100 ohm resistors on either side to make up a 50 ohm load so place that down and you can check on the analyzer that it's uh, making contact Are we okay that So that, that's complete, complete and the uh, calibration standards have been loaded to the um, uh, analyzer and uh, the uh, WinCal software has uh, done a validation test and that looks okay. So continue the, to the next test and that also looks okay. Uh, so move the manual probe station to open so lift the uh, structure again so the probe station is uh, is now uh, calibrated one uh, <coughs> one other uh, way of uh, validating a measurement is to uh, look in turn at ports 1 and ports 2 with uh, a long uh, an electrically long open circuit line and we should be able to see a smooth um, response spiraling in into the uh, centre of the Smith chart. So as the phase increases and the loss increases, the uh, response will spiral in. So that's one of the uh, pieces that uh, is available on the ISS. So I'll move to that. So if we do for port 1, I'll uh, make sure to lift up port 2 first. So I've placed uh, the left hand port 1 probe down <coughs> and we now need to go to the measurement uh, window. So bring that up and make a measurement. So we'll call that open. Uh, as we can see, uh, see here, <coughs> the S11 is showing a smooth response uh, from uh, the open circuit at low frequency spiralling in around the Smith chart to the high frequency end. Uh, so we can do that for the port 2 as well uh, to verify that it is a, a good overall uh, uh, calibration but that's a good indication looking at one of the ports that the calibration is correct. Uh, so next we need to move on to actually measure the uh, wafer itself and that'll take a moment to change over so I'll do that and be back in a moment. 
Okay, I've uh, put on the wafer and I've set up the probe over travel and added a uh, four-way DC probe as well to apply the gate and drain bias. <coughs> and we've got a fresh uh, measurement uh, window set up. So we'll apply the bias, gate first, and then the drain bias. <coughs> and see, can see that the analyzer uh, response has uh, changed. Looks like a reasonable input match. So we'll grab a trace and give it a name, AMP1. And you can see the results there. So reasonably good input match, sort of uh, minus 10 at uh, 5 gigs and about 20 gigs. And again over that range is about six and a half to uh, eight and a half dBs and a reasonable output match. So uh, it'd be a good idea to measure a second one just to uh, verify that uh, it wasn't a bogus measurement. Uh, so we've switched off the bias and lift the probes and move to uh, another site. So we just move a couple of uh, reticles away. And place the probes down again. Apply the gate bias and the drain bias. Similar sort of current. You can see the response on the analyzer looks similar and make a second measurement and so there we can see it's quite a, a similar response S, uh, S11 differing down at the uh, null but the gains fairly similar isolations and uh, again the output matches so we've covered uh, an ISS uh, calibration uh, to make an on wafer measurement uh, of uh, amplifier mimic today. And if you go to www.plextechrfi.com, you can see other examples that we've uh, designed in the past.